Good morning. How's everybody on this frosty Friday? <laughs> Cheers. We got back today, you guys, and um, it it's a really it looks really easy, but it's a little more challenging than even I thought when I was doing it. We've got a lot of um, hyperextensions and um, uh, seemingly smaller muscle groups, but when you really apply the thought process and squeeze at the right, right places, you're going to feel it in new places. So let's get started. A nice warm up. Um, honestly, from from the week that we've just had, it would be smart to um, you know just do some oh, limbering, and you are going to have to determine what that means for you and how you're feeling today. Um, my low back is still challenged, which um, I feel good about, but I have to be careful, right? I just want to be aware. Good. Um, my other favorite, you know, is the press. Mmm. So good, eh? So today, I am going to, when we get to our um, super, hyper advanced supers, I'm going to do it on my bench so that you can see it, and that's Superman Hyper, and I'm going to do my uh, band pull downs on my machine. So I'll show you one with the bands and one with the machine so that I've got everyone covered out there. But we're gonna start start off with 12 um, reps, double dumbbell row, okay? So get into your strong posture. <clears throat> Tall and strong. I might, should I be back here a little bit? Let me see. Let's just do this. There we go. A tall, exaggerated, cartoon character posture. Drive the hips back. And if you're lifting heavier weights, you're going to have to lift them from the floor. Um, and back is capable of handling big weight. And 12. 12 reps. So I can either put those down there and ease up. Good. Now, um, I am going to pick up some heavier weights for myself. All right, and then you make your decisions based on how you're feeling. Uh, remember that you could have a stool, a couch, um, <clears throat> something to support your head, thereby supporting your back, right? Um, otherwise, if there is a big concern about forward flexed, um, go ahead with one arm at a time, all right? <sighs> Tall and strong, 12 reps. Feels all right? Good. Go ahead and stretch in between. Um, and take as much rest as you need, okay? When you're lifting heavier weights, you get a cardiovascular uh, challenge as well, okay? That's how you, heavy weights you're lifting with big muscle groups requiring oxygen. So you're gonna, you're gonna feel challenged. Alrighty, so here we have our third set of a bent over row.
All right. Beautiful. So we're moving on. Take your rest as I give you the cue to a sumo deadlift. Sumo stance means I'm a little bit wider, toes pointed out. If you had a barbell, you would be holding it in the center. You could even do reverse grip or alternate grip, same grip. Depending on the weight you're lifting, deadlifts you can handle a lot because what I want you to get clear here is it's going to feel like a leg exercise, and it is, but it's also low back and upper back, okay? You're hoisting up heavy weight, and a lot of muscles are going to get involved to get that weight done. All right, so that's back. Whew. Here we go. You could even start with one weight here, but remember to drive your hips back to a point where I can't go back any further because my hamstrings are limiting that movement. And then I'm going to drive it up. Okay, I'm going to start with one weight now and then see. And then it's an alternate row right and left. Okay, so that's heavier because um, they're six and six, right? So let's just get a heavier weight here for my rows. And my deadlifts are 15 reps, so that's like, whoo! You're gonna feel it, okay? So. Good. And then right into your single arm row. Six reps, heavy. Tall, exaggerated posture. Break the hip forward to support and then pull. I got eight out of that because I got thinking about something else and I kept going. So I was actually thinking, oh my God, this is easy. I need the 40s. So I kept going and I got eight out of there. So. to the sumo deadlifts, we got four sets of this um, super set. Uh, it's the bulk of our back workout, so it's this is the important one. All right, but pay attention how you're feeling. Okay, 15 reps. Let's go. And 15. Good. Six and six. This way it's fine. It's just fine. Uh, tall, strong, 
core engaged, and I'm holding for a split second to acknowledge that contraction on top before I release, okay? Doing good. Well, we're certainly warmed up now. <laughs> oh, awesome. Feels good. Sumo deadlift. 15 reps. Choose your weight at this point. You could go up. You could go down. Um, you could um, modify the rep scheme. You might go to 12 reps this time and 10 reps the next time. This is your game. Your, this is your workout. Alrighty, let's go. Driving the hips back, right? When you're ready. Six. Not so cocky now. The weight feels perfectly heavy. <laughs> some as many reps as you can but when we're muscle conditioning you're looking for safety stability and you know hit the target <laughs> all right let's hit the target <sighs> they're talking to me they say. <sighs> pow all right sumo stance Deadlift means I'm picking something up off the floor in front of me using all the muscles, major muscle groups, compound movement. Beautiful. Okay. I don't think I'm going to use that again. Um, last set for single arm dumbbell row. If you're all with me or you're resting or you're ahead of me, it doesn't matter. Take your time. Follow the board as best you can, okay? And six. 
She feels challenging, right? your neck so much as to contract those muscles and you're almost being slightly pulled backwards as you contract. Now 20 reps set. You can fool around with hand placement. You can do a few in front, a few at the side, a few in behind. Play around with that one or just keep it at your sides until you can determine how that affects you. Like I was just thinking here with no weight at all in that forward trip, I can feel a little impingement there. So that's going to be like something for me to pay attention to. And you're going to have your own situations. Okay. Now the, the shrugs can take a little bit more weight. You, you've got again, big back muscles involved. High pull, maybe a little bit less because you're internally rotating those shoulder joints and you're putting a load on them. So you wanna, you wanna pay attention, all right? The other modification that I make with these um, high pulls is sometimes I'll just come to my chest. Uh, you can see some people bringing that pull way up here. And if you have great shoulder joints, great elbows, great wrists, and that feels good, fine, and you can target the muscle that you're intending to, go full range, all right? I will just be showing it to chest. And I'll be using my brain to get into that muscle and add the squeeze. Got it? Let's go. 10. And then I'm taking it right into my shrugs and then I'll rest as a superset, okay? And 20. Should burn like a bugger. <laughs> Sorry. But that's what it feels like. Oh. Traps on fire. Good. And the rest. Because we're going straight back to same muscle group. So 15, 30 seconds. You know, you've got to determine when you feel fresh enough to go back to that rep scheme in good form. So you want to rest enough for that, but not too much. Like we don't want to have a cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. And shrug.
gets to the point there where that tension that's building there is very difficult to coax out of the picture. So hang on and then between sets just take extra care to let that tension drop a bit, okay? Thank God this is only three sets. You're making up your own numbers, right? You're going to complete fatigue and then give it her up. The next one's not going to be nice either. I'm dreading our super bands. We got to do, we got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> High pull. Last set. We got this. Good job, Dave. Whoa! Nice little rest. We're going to our Superman hypers and our lat pull downs. Okay? Superman hyper on the floor or on the bench. Alright. And um, again, lat machine pull down if you have one or banded pull down. Alrighty. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. I'm not looking forward to this. So, Superman hyper. If you're on the floor, um, it's the same thing. So your arms are extended, and you're gonna lift and lower. All right. I find for myself that if I mobilize my hands, I can get a better pull. Otherwise, I don't seem to be able to lift so much. So play with this one as well. You know. Um, with an extension out front, and then just to lift and lower, or to lift and squeeze back. One, two, Lap pull down. Good. You just want to really pay attention when your back is coming back into a contraction. Just hold you up and sit up. You know, if you get any uh, spasms, <laughs> don't want to frighten you. But yeah, your muscle will fight back and say, stop this. So it'll spasm. So you can stretch out in between. Um, you can lower your reps. You could even, if that's way, way too much, you could even go to a good morning. That's going to hit the same muscle group. All right, here I am. I'm going to use the band for the first one because we've got three of these. And then I'll do my um, machine for the last two. So, <clears throat> supported, you're supporting yourself. Seated, standing, kneeling, whatever. Overhead and pulling down with my big lat muscles. All right, so my shoulders are going to be screaming at first, but then once I get down here, I'm very strong. My back is taken over, okay?
have problems with uh, shoulders, overhead, anything pulling overhead, go ahead and do it in front with a band pull. And that could be a bent arm band pull, okay? Uh, mess around. If you have any, um, you know, concerns or questions, of course, get a hold of me or ask your professional, you know. If they have told you not to do anything forward, um, over overhead movements, then they should be giving you something that you can do as you heal, right? Okay, hyperextensions. Let's go. Oh, we love them. We do, we love them. Up that back, back to um, lap pull downs with a band. I'm going to show it with my machine. Um, bringing it in front, I'm going to be using my shoulders more in the range of a function that's intended. All right, if I go behind my back, I'm going to hit that muscle, the force is going to hit that muscle directly over it, and it's just gonna change the, the effect, all right? So number one, choose by your physiology, your limitations. And then the next, when you're feeling really good about everything, choose because um, the variety suits your purpose, okay? I'm going to sit up really nice and tall. I'm almost overarching my back to pull that in. Now remember, that's my big, big lat muscles pulling, all right? My arms are auxiliary, they're helpers, okay? So remember to focus. Sorry about that. On your upper back, pulling down, all right? Because you might mistake that for me just pulling with my arms, okay? It's my back. And then my arms follow. Okay, last set here, then we just have biceps. Oh, we're doing good time, good time. set like this is going to pre-exhaust you for this set. So make sure that you're pushing weight on this one that you can get good reps out of based on the fatigue level you have here. Okay? You just don't get slobby because you're tired. You got tired for a good reason. Okay? I hope that makes sense. 
just thought of that for myself because I'm thinking here, you're totally fatigued, Karen. You don't mess around over there. This is how I talk to myself. Go figure. So I'm going to show you from rear, and I'm going to pull behind my neck. This isn't the greatest for my shoulders, but I can shove my whole body up and get in a position that it's not too bad. And I also know myself really well. If it's not feeling right, then stop. That's my rule. <laughs> That's my rule. All right, so moderate grip. I'm going to push myself right forward, and I'm able to pull behind my neck. Biceps curls and I've got a reversed hand grip stretch. I wanted to put a stretch in with our workout today. You don't have to do it, okay? This is definitely something that if you have issues with joints, that you should be discussing it with your um, professional. I personally have um, arthritis in my family history and I'm noticing now my hands and my wrists, so I've started doing um, manipulations for my wrists. So I'm just going to put that in here if you want to take a rest um, while uh, we're doing the stretch. I'll show it to you. So this is a concentration curl. Uh, I've actually got a preacher bench. If you have a preacher bench, you could do a concentration curl on the preacher bench. That's simply where you're leaning over a padded area and isolating, totally isolating the bicep. Um, but for home use, this is an isolated bicep curl, 10 and 10, okay? So by attaching the back of my elbow, my back of my arm to my inner thigh, it's reducing any help from any other muscle, so we can concentrate the work. All the way down, all the way up, please. I've lost count, but this hurts, so I think it's got to be the last one. There's 10. Whew. Remember we did biceps in some, on some other day. I think that was on Tuesday with cardio. So we've done, we've done some biceps. comes the um, reverse, reverse palm wrist stretch. So I'm actually twisted around. If I'm here, I would have it backwards. Now that might be enough for some people to begin with. I, I just got there. And then I can pull my body back a little bit and stretch out through the tendons in my wrist area. And then in that full stretch, if I choose, I can take each finger Thumb on knuckle and pull it up a little bit. You're going to feel each tendon <laughs> pop in. All right? So that's what I'll do. Oftentimes in between sets, uh, just because I don't usually do it when um, in the course of a day. Uh, right? And then the other one. So I'm going to hold it in a good and, and make sure that feels all right. Then I'll pull my body back slightly and I'll begin to, whoo, haven't done this one in a while. Pick up each finger, pressing down at the middle knuckle and feeling those tendons come into play. Uh, you could even just do two hands 
with a reverse, um, moving your body backwards. Watch that back, it's still mad at you a little bit. <laughs> if anything, it's just not sure. What is this girl doing? So funny, I'm thinking about that day a couple weeks ago when we were doing biceps and it was just so hard. It must have been a bad day or I'm gaining strength. Um, I was just thinking, you know, never come into your workouts with pre <laughs> premeditated notions. Like, you might have gotten stronger over the last two weeks. Who knows, right? Come at each workout saying, I'm going to do my best, right? I'm going to do both of these at the same time. So they're, as best possible, they're facing backwards towards you. And I'm going to try and keep my heel of my hand on that bench. Oh. And you can just feel the heat radiating up, right? That would be just a very good start for anybody. You know what I figured? Never did these as I was younger because the, the threat wasn't there. You didn't see the, you know, the, the knobby knuckles coming. Now that I actually see the onset of the arthritis coming, it's like, oh, get on it, get on it, get on it. If we could only learn to do these things before the problem happens. <laughs> informational posts today. Um, just a couple points I thought I'd make and uh, some points that you can consider as you move through your training and try to decide do I do that second glute day or don't I? You know, am I going to fall behind if I don't? Alright, I'm going to address that. Um, good. Last stretch. I'm going to leave you with that. Play around with it. Once again, to extend this, to, to make this more, more difficult or to stretch it further, I'm going to take each digit, pressing down on the knuckle and pulling back and up on it. And once again, this is something that you need to, you know, discuss with your, um, this is your therapist or your chiropractor, right? If you're having problems with wrists, Elbows and shoulders, you need to find out the, the source of the problem, um, rehabilitate it, and then, then keep it in shape. All right. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Have a fantastic day. I will talk to you tomorrow if I see you, if not Monday. Happy Valentine's Day if I don't see you. Bye-bye.